Hi. So, let's get started with your oracle card reading for the week ahead. Starting with the planetary energy cards. And these are the planets. It's kind of like who, what, where of energy. So, let's see what planet is going to be prevalent this week. Venus. And what sign or what <laughs> or who what and where in Virgo Venus in Virgo in what house in the 10th house <laughs> getting the 10th house for things. Okay, so the cards read across. And they make up a sentence. So it says to cherish responsibly the serving of others. Oh, oops, this is not in the right order. <laughs> um, enjoy the details of success. Charm, art, and beauty are the way to do what you must do and become a person of power and status. The emotional side of things says, the uh, attraction of methods for the healing power of your destiny, pleasure from the analyzing of where you're going, and Good times resulting from the perfectionism of your career. Well, that's good. Let's pull a rune card. Let's see what the runes have to tell us. And I'll put the links, for details of these cards in the details below this video. <laughs> Strength, five. And standstill is on the bottom. Isa. Yuras, I think, is how you pronounce this one. Strength and standstill, I said. Okay. Now, let's pull from the other energy cards and see if there's any overlaps with the cards for the week ahead. All of these just sort of flipped. Beautiful King, Cup Princess, Two of Swords. Hang on. Pentacle King popped out again. Horse Crown. And it's a person, so like I said, I don't get too much from the person cards, but it could be someone you know or you yourself. We did get Virgo. Virgo's an earth sign and Pentacle King. Earth. No. Oh. Got the High Priestess. Prince of Swords, Gemini Chariot, and the Chariot. Coming through, and that would be a good translation for the Chariot coming through. High Priestess, um, some secretive energy, some mysteries, mysterious energy. The Prince of Swords, again, some air energy coming through, and the Chariot, Cancer, Moon, Jupiter. And on the bottom is the Ten of Pentacles, Venus and Virgo. Well, there you go. The cards that we just pulled, Venus, Virgo, and the Tenth House. Ten of Pentacles is about having it all and having all the riches, all the, the family life, everything that you desire, getting that. Um, and it may not all happen this week, but it's like one of those things that says that you're on the right track because it's on the bottom, underlying energy. Anything else? The lovers. Gemini, Mercury, North Node. 
episode. That's about love. Um, being lovers with someone. Um, it's number six in the Major Arcana. It's pretty self-explanatory. We'll do a angel or romance angel oracle cards later. Cup Prince. Pisces Chariot crosses on the bottom. Let's pull from the Pixie Lenormand, the smallest stack of cards I own. Um, try to sum up the tarot part of this reading. The heart. A way to get strength for the runes, and I think of the heart with strength. This is number 24. Heart energy is positive. Sorry, I'm still a little sick. Um, keywords, affection, joy, attraction, courage. This is the night of hearts also. Emotions, flirtation, love, love affairs, passion, relationships. Full meaning, this is a card of emotions and matters of the heart. Not all things here are romance. Feelings and affections for those around you come into play. Um, love in love, an emotional connection, a feeling of being in heaven or in the perfect situation. Career, doing what you truly want to do, being appreciated and loving your job. Characteristics, qualities, a generous and caring person who is warm-hearted and good-natured. Timing, the 24th of the month, dog days of summer, August. August, or sorry, image origins. Among the most famous images from Hamill's tarot deck is the Three of Swords. Here, the heart has healed and is ready to accept the love it deserves. Under the heart is the lush garden from the Queen of Pentacles. The serene pond of water made up from the Ace of Cups, creating a wonderful nurturing garden to grow new love. Well, that's a great card to get then, especially because we got the lovers also. So that makes sense. Maybe there'll be some new love coming into your life this week. Um, let's pull from the Archangel Oracle cards and um, see what else has to, the universe has to tell us. Whoa. Leadership, well, we did get the emperor, the cards of the week ahead, Archang or right now actually, Archangel Gabriel, it's time for you to assume your leadership power and position and lovingly guide others. Leadership. Tenth house, I think, of also with leadership. Overcoming difficulties is on the bottom. Archangel Jeremiah, the worst is now behind you when you're surmounting any previous challenges. What else for this week? Clairvoyance, Archangel Raziel, I'm helping your spiritual sight to awaken fully so you can clearly see heavenly love. On the bottom is prosperity, which I think kind of goes along with the Ten of Pentacles, or Venus and Virgo. Archangel Ariel, your material needs are provided as you follow your intuition and manifest your dreams into reality. Okay, let's see. That is from there. Let's pull from the Romance Angel Oracle, if I can pick them up. So many Oracle cards around here. Okay, for singles. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Unicorn. And trust. This 
situation is calling for you to have faith. And passion just flipped over. It's going to go into those in your relationships, but now your heart and soul is sing with joy. This is the Nick Cave. <laughs> he looks like Nick Cave to me. Okay. And healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Okay, let's do dating, relationships. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So expression, opening up, expressing how you feel and love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And marriage, long-term dating situations, partnerships, playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Recapturing some romance and passion and some playfulness. And keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Well, maybe just keeping an open mind with playfulness and what that can bring. Okay, let's pull from the Enchanted Map Oracle. Actually, let's pull from the Crystal Grid Oracle's Affirmation Cards a little further guidance this coming week. Round smoky quartz, 18. So staying grounded, um, channeled, black phantom quartz is on the bottom. Channeling a little bit, maybe channeling angels, angelic, universal energy, I don't know channeling whatever you believe in. And emotions, black moonstone, number one is on the bottom. Manifestation, epidote six is on the bottom here. Manifesting this week your dreams into reality. Let's pull from, you know what, actually this week I'm going to keep it short and just pull from the Winged Enchantment Oracle and that'll be it and then we'll be done. Just looking at Oracle of Vision to see what else do people need to know. Turkey, 36, and Goose is on the bottom. This says, this is what the card looks like. I am Turkey, the giveaway bird. I am gratitude. I am nourishment. I am sacrifice of the soul. I am martyrdom and the reason we hold fast to our beliefs. I am plentitude and harvest. I am the path of service and humility. I relinquish the ego. I renounce the self. I am the benefit of the greater good. You are being asked to serve a purpose. You are being guided to put something else first. Without empathy, we do not evolve. I am the life of charity. I am the bounty that can be shared with others. Look around to see who needs you. Your own needs may have to wait for a while. I am the spirit of living honorably. There is quiet dignity and servitude. You are a vessel for greater good. You are compassion. You are giving of yourself. You are turkey. Okay, you are turkey. So, I hope this was helpful, and I hope you enjoyed the reading and brought some sort of insight or something to you 
stood out for you in your life and what you're going through. So I hope that you have a great week ahead and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.